Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to start a new software that is Smart PLSM, Partial Least Square Structure Equation Modeling. And uh, this software, we have already finished in our previous video, Structure Equation Modeling in AMOS. We have already done mediation moderation through our AMOS as well as SPSS as well as through Process Macro. But in this video, we, we will start Smart PLSM. Here is uh, Smart, this, this is something uh, different. There, there's a lot of difference in between the covariance with CB based SAM as well as in PLSM. So, covariance based structure equation modeling, especially with reflective measurement where hypothetical constructs are estimated as common factors that are assumed to cause their indicators, is a flexible and compelling data analysis method. But when we talk about partial least square method, uh, this one is the PLSM, is an approach to structure equation model that allows researcher to analyze the relationship simultaneously. You, you, you have already gone through this one is the structure equation modeling in MOS. First, you are uh, doing CFA. Right. And after that, you people are uh, doing path analysis. So, but in this case, in this, in this PLS, uh, there's no such kind of thing. We are doing all the, we are analyzing all the relationships simultaneously. So there is no this kind of uh, steps. First, you are doing CFA. Then after that, you are doing path analysis. No, this kind of feature. Here is the simultaneously you are doing, you are testing all the relationships. So reflective scale and formative scale, that's the most important thing you must know before going further analysis. Reflective scale and formative scale, basically in CBSAM, only reflective scale is uh, uh, we can use. No formative scale we can use. And uh, here is the reflective scale means this is the formative and this is the reflective. You have seen in uh, this one is the CB based SAM. You have seen this kind of a structure. This was the construct and these are, are all statements. So arrow is going towards the statement. This is the reflective. But in formative, you have seen statements from statements towards this construct. These, uh, these arrows are coming over. Here. And uh, now what kind of statements it would be, you can see in your questionnaire, if let's say you are asking similar kind of question, um, I mean, same kind of uh, things you would like to know, but different way you are asking. So that is reflective scale. Right. But formative scale means, let's say we will take an example of the marketing mix. Let's say first statement is related to product. Second statement is related to price. Third related third statement is related to promotion. Fourth statement is related to distribution. I mean, this kind of these relation, these statements are not correlated. Right. So this is the formative scale. And in this uh, video, not in this video, I'm sure in the, in a, we will try our level best. We can discuss in this video case study, right? This is my case. But before that, first we have to learn how we have to install PLSM and uh, what are their tools. So now a uh, moment you will type here in the Google search engine, you will type smartpls.com so moment you will type this you will reach here smart pls is here start free 30 day trial uh, and uh, here is apply plsm met methods in minutes and available for mac as well as windows and download now so this one is the on uh, 30 day trial is free and after that you have to purchase and this one is the software has been given by uh, Professor here. He is Professor here. And uh, running your smart PLS analysis, I mean, there's the so many, so, so many things are, has been given on this page. And uh, after this, uh, you can see a number of the books also available, right? And this is also one of the very advanced issues. And this one is the very popular book and that is available on Amazon. 
so um, this book is all because i think you i think everybody who is going for a smart pls sam he or she she must go for this book so lots of examples lots of and and very it with, with very clarity they had explained each and everything this is the practical guide that provides concise instructions on how to use the evolving statistical technique to conduct research and obtain solutions so these are the books that is available over here right and um, in that way you have to you have to i mean take your because i have i i am already having so you can have this um this one is the 30 days trial and you can run so moment you will download this thing so how it would be look like i mean i will show you there is the uh, this one is the all these things would be here and this the smart pls uh, you can put it uh, you 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 can you can you can put it this one is as a shortcut on your desktop also right and when you will start this and everything would be save here is in the workspace right everything would be in the workspace whatever uh, whatever whatever uh, models you will run each and everything that would be saved here in workspace then we will start then we have once we will install and we will we will run this thing and so these three windows will be here this one is the canvas and this is the project this one is the outline and these are the indicators and indicators you can arrange alphabetically also i mean these would be alphabetically are in either ascending order or in the descending but i mean a to z or a, this one is the z to a or a to z so how we have to use uh, this thing here is the you have seen there is the project is written here what we have to do you have to click on you have to click right click and you have to create new project right so let's say i am giving this project is a brand all right brand then i will click on next so here are you can see here there are three dots right you will click on these three dots and uh, i will open up my this file right okay fine before open up this file i would like to show you something uh this one is the file right you have already used some files in your spss because amos is the um, amos is the spss it was earlier it was just it was an add in to spss it is by given by ibm so you had already used to directly you can call any spss file over there but in plsm it's not like that what you have to do whatever is your file you can convert that would read plsm only read only dot csv files so what we have to do we will save this file save as and we will save this file here is the extension this one is you can see here comma delimited dot csv file so you can save this file as um, csv file dot csv file and you can click on save so in the same folder that file will be saved so what we have to do here we will click uh, right click here create new project and project name let's say i had given brand because i'm working on this project and uh, i will open up my dot csv file right and then finish so you can see here there is the my my file name is available here a moment you will click on this moment you will click on this let's say just a moment sorry right so you can see here moment i had opened this file brand right so brand dot spls m brand model 
So we will click here, right? When you will click here, all the indicators are here. All the indicators are available over here, right? And when you will click here, brand model, so this kind of uh, window you will see. And uh, uh, when you are opening up, this is first time this file, all the time you are, you are starting any new project. So you will validate first. So I will clicking on validate. The data file is valid. Okay. Right. Then I will click on brand.splsm. This is my canvas. Correct. Now, let's say this is my model. You have seen brand image and brand benefit. Then after that, it is leading to brand satisfaction. And once the person, customer would have brand satisfaction because, because everywhere there should be a theory. So only that uh, in this case, only you are going to apply this model. So brand satisfaction, then after that, this brand satisfaction is leading to brand loyalty, then the brand adoption. Customer will adopt this brand. This is my theory. So what we have to do, uh, I have given these name as like brand image, image one, image two, image three. I mean, all are these, there are the three statements. Those are supporting to brand image. Now brand benefit, again, I had given these three statements, benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, then benefit brand satisfaction, satisfaction one, satisfaction two, satisfaction three, brand loyalty, loyalty one, loyalty two, loyalty three, and brand adoption, adoption one, adoption two, and adoption three. So uh, all these my these constructs having three images, correct? So now we have to, we will click here. You can see here, we will click here. Then we can create all these constructs. And this is my model. And then now we will deselect. If we will click on this arrow, then we can move these things, right? Wherever we want to put all these things, then you can move these things as per your choice, right? Correct. Now what I have to do, this is because in my case, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, right? So I had created here. Now all these things are supported by three statements. So what I, I will do, first one is mine is in my case is brand image. So I will take it image, yes, image one is here, image two is here and image three, right? Then I will click on here is in this, the second one in my case is brand benefit. So benefit one is here, benefit two and benefit three. Then in the next case, the next one is the brand satisfaction. So what I have to do, satisfaction one, satisfaction two, satisfaction three. These three statements. Then next one is in my case, brand loyalty. So loyalty one, loyalty two, and loyalty three. And last one is the brand adoption. So now what I do, adoption one, adoption two, and adoption three. So now what we have to do until or unless you that would not be connected with each other, these circle would be red as it is. Now, first of all, we have to go for alignment. Right, right. I had rotated it right. It would be, let's say, top. It would be, let's say, bottom. And it would be, it is right. Now we will connect, uh, let's say, now, first of all, we have to give them, rename these objects. So I will give this name. First one is my brand image. Brand image. Okay. And in the next one is the name, rename object. So this one is the brand benefit. Brand benefit. Correct. 
and this one is the we can rename it is as satisfaction satisfaction and uh, here is i will give this name as uh, loyalty or we can say i mean brand loyalty and uh, this name we have to give brand adoption or the customer adoption whatever is the brand adoption because this one is the my hypothetical model okay now what we have to do you can see here this is only and you can increase this size also right if you would like to see you can increase this size let's say 150 so and now i can move these things here and uh, so I'm told us but I will shift here and this one is here, right. So now I will connect these, right. This is the, then I will connect this and I will connect this. See, moment you will collect, it will change its color. Now it's blue. Earlier it was red. So now this model is ready to run. Now this model is ready to run. Correct. So we understand how we have to create a model, how we have to put all our statements, how we have to create this. And uh, in the next video, we will run are uh, these files and then we will interpret their results. Right. Thank you everyone for watching this. Thanks a lot.